Coach, uh, as we sit here after practice on a Sunday, which is very unusual, but it's great to be back out on the field, isn't it? Man, I told our kids we're probably going to have to have more Sunday practices. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> we were out there, the sun shining. field was overall pretty dry. Uh, we had a good bounce on our stuff. It was a great day of practice. Uh, it was just great to be around the kids, the players, everybody. It, it, it's a good feeling to be back on the practice field. You guys opened the region on Tuesday, and, and as we all say, the real season is here now, and uh, open up with Spring Valley, and uh, I, th I don't think there's anybody in the region that you could have opened with that wouldn't be a really tough game, because it's obviously just, it, it's really loaded this year, but Spring Valley, a, a team that uh, has athletes like you do that can run, but they couldn't be more different than you are uh to me it's just an intriguing fantastic way to kick off the uh kick off region play and uh just talk a little give me a preview of this game well spring valley uh, they're always a challenge the flex bone uh it's no different than when you see it in college when you see paul johnson uh georgia tech it's a challenge it's a challenge regardless of the talent level they have over there mm -hmm. and they have tremendous talent year in year out and so We've, we've got to find a way to contain it. And to go out there and simulate it in practice is very difficult. We, we tried our best yesterday. We were in the gym practicing and uh, trying to give them a good look. And then we go out there today on the field, and you, you, thought, eh, you thought we were a little <laughs> bit farther along giving them a look. But it, it, we, we just look ugly trying to do it, and they look so good doing it. So uh, it makes it real hard on our defense. Uh, you, you hope the defense can survive the first few series when you play a team like that because it takes a while to adjust. And, you know, back when I was a defense coordinator adjusting to it, I just always tried to hang on for a couple series. And I knew once our guys got a little bit more familiar with it, the speed of it and everything that takes place, mm -hmm. they get a little bit more comfortable and hopefully they do all right the rest of the game. But, man, you worry, you worry those first few series against it. Now, offensively, uh, in the last outing, I guess 10, 10 or so days ago, uh, scored 38 points uh, in a really – sounded like a, a, a close – it was obviously a close game, but uh, I know they came back. Uh, South Lawrence came back late. Yep. Um, but from what I understand, David was superb, and he's really getting into a groove right now. Yeah. Uh, D David's been solid for us all year. He, uh, we've had some bad breaks, especially with the rain games. Uh, we're, we're not the best rain team, but I think we're getting better at it and handling a little better. Mm -hmm. You know, our receivers had some drops earlier in the year in the rain games, but mm -hmm. now they're doing a little bit better. Uh, David's running the ball even better now, and mm -hmm. that was one of the big components in this last game. He ran for a little over 100 yards uh, with the combination of our running backs and our receivers. That just adds another dimension for our offense. We did pretty good. We had, you know, we – we had, I think, 38 points at the end of the third quarter. I don't think we scored in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, we struggled down the stretch. We didn't put the game away like we should have. We had an 18-point lead going in the fourth quarter, and we we just didn't get it done. A lot of that's me. Some of that's just us not executing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and a lot of times it keeps coming back. We get penalties at the worst times. and We, we, we keep working to get beyond that. And I think we will. I, I think we've gotten better every single week going – through this season, and we're really looking forward to the fact that we get two games this week, and really see how much farther we've come. Is that a? Uh, is that a? Is that? Does that scare you as a coach? I know that everybody else has to do the same thing, except for every team gets a one day longer break than you in Spring Valley because you play on Tuesday. I believe that's right, and uh, everybody comes back on Friday. Is that correct? No, well. Dutch Fork plays Ridgeview also on Tuesday. That's true. That's and we true. play Dutch Fork on Friday. So uh, the turnaround, I, I haven't even worried about that yet. We're, You'll we're, deal we're with trying it. to stay Let focused me. on Spring Valley. Sure. After we finish Spring Valley, we'll turn our attention to Dutch Fork. You know, um, I, obviously I hadn't thought about that. What a, what a wonderful way to get back into the swing of things is play uh, a very good Spring Valley team on Tuesday and then have Dutch Fork on Friday. I, Holy smokes. You know. That's tough. We always ask for a challenge, and we got one there. <laughs> uh, the, you know, you sit there and go, well, we could be 2-0 and oh at the end of the week. We could also be 0-2 oh in the region at the end of the week. Could be 1-1. One and one. The biggest thing right now is we just focus on Tuesday, take mm -hmm. care of our business against Spring Valley, and hopefully walk away with a W. We'll regroup after that, and then we'll we'll tackle Dutch Fork after. 
All right. Well, hey, uh, best of luck to you on Tuesday. Can't wait for it. And uh, it looks like it has all the makings of a terrific game to kick off the uh, region slate for both of you guys in uh, Region 5 4 A. Region, region 4 4 A. Region 4 4 4 A. Be good if I got that right. Well, next year it becomes 4 5 A. <laughs> now you got me really confused. <laughs> Coach, thanks so much, man. Hey, appreciate it. All Thank right. you.